hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are doing a get to know me tag i'm doing this in honor of me reaching 100 subscribers so i thought let me open myself up to my subscribers and give you guys a glimpse into my world by answering a few questions so i have here a homemade cocktail uh, some gin and tonic and also i have my questions in my phone i'm just gonna get to the questions that I created and uh, get to answering so I'll be sipping on my gin so grab something to drink and yeah I'll get to know me so first question is what is my full name my full name is and Wittumelo means happiness in Setswana Musibu is a baby name I have no idea what that means they told me once, but I forgot I was named after my great grandmother, and Mikango is obviously my surname. The second question is How old am I? I am 27, going on 28. I'll be 28 soon. I know I look good, guys, but yeah, I'm in my late 20s. Knocking on 30. My biggest pet peeve people that do not wash their hands after using the bathroom, I find it. So disgusting like I mean I don't understand why anyone would do that but I absolutely hate it hi mama guys I had to take a break my mom called me with some <laughs> Ooh, guys I love my mom but yeah I'm back <laughs> so question four is do I have a hidden talent? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I definitely do not. I wish I had one. Maybe I need to try different things to try and see if there's something I'm secretly good at. But at this point, no. Third question. Uh, some of these questions uh, my best friend asked me. <laughs> so yeah, so I just thought they're cool. I should answer them. Um, number five is do I have a nasty habit? I do it's it's very disgusting so I'm going to drink first before I answer this because you all are gonna judge me but basically I crave tissue sometimes yeah I don't know why sometimes I just chew on tissue and I spit it out sadly <laughs> I've been like that since I was a child and I never outgrew it. Uh, I don't do it as often as I used to, but yeah, that's one of the nastiest things that I do. What do I do for a living? Uh, I'm an IT business analyst and I've been doing that for six years. An item of makeup I cannot live without. Definitely lip gloss. Um, I think... Um, if you have... Just decent eyebrows. You don't even have to put your eyebrows on. And you put on a gloss. Perfect. With a perfect uh, skincare uh, routine, you will be glowing. You just need a gloss. So that's the one thing I can't do without. My favorite food, definitely mutton curry. I'm obsessed with Indian food. Love it. So mutton curry is my favorite. Favorite holiday. Favorite holiday destination Bali 100% I love it. it it's basically my spirit place like oh my god I'm absolutely obsessed with that place I loved every minute of it and I think what I loved about it most is even though it's a third world country just like here it is extremely safe I mean I never felt in danger and sometimes when I'm here like I mean I can't even walk at night in my own country and there I can walk at any time of the day walk anywhere and never feel that anything's going to happen to me so my favorite thing about that country is the fact that i felt safe and yeah so i would move there in a heartbeat i'm sorry guys if i keep looking there but that is where my monitor is so i keep checking from still in focus but i'm slowly gonna get used to having it there and i hopefully uh i won't be looking there in the near future Question 10, worst financial decision. Definitely getting a credit card was the worst thing I ever did. 
I mean, I got one when I was 20, basically when I first started working and it went downhill from there, like, whoa. I need to even drink, like, it was literally the worst thing I've ever done. But I recovered from that. I'm doing quite well now financially. I'm saving more, I'm investing. So things are looking good. And yeah, so maybe I should do like a whole video about how I ended up in debt in the first place and everything else that followed after. Let me know if you guys are interested in that and how I recovered from that. So yeah, that getting a credit card was the worst thing. If I could advise anyone in their late 20s, or basically any person if you do not have a good financial background and meaning that you had parents that were good with money they taught you good money habits do not get a credit card it will take you on a, a very bad path a very bad like literally it was the worst but you know we live and we learn question 11 how did I get into makeup uh, funny enough yesterday i was giving a talk at an, at an event and this was one of the things that i addressed i got into makeup because of my mom i mean i grew up with my mom putting on foundation and back in the day because foundation was not like for dark skinned people like people like us it wasn't really common or like it looked very ashy my mom used to get her foundation like custom mixed there was like a lady that used to do her foundation and it always was like perfect. I don't know what happened to that lady because it would have been so great to use her now. But yeah, she's always been into makeup and I learned from there. And as the times went on and YouTube became more accessible, I started watching YouTube and I, I'm basically self-taught. But that's how I got into makeup because of my mom. I remember my first makeup product was the Revlon Press Powder. <laughs> That was the first and I used to think I was the hottest person ever when I had that product on. <laughs> I should actually buy it. I haven't used Revlon product in years. I should go back and try them. Plus I think they have a new range now, Candid or something. I've been seeing it on social media. I should try that. Uh, number 12, which series or sitcom would I be part of if I had the opportunity? Woo! Billions! Definitely I'll be part of Billions. It is my favorite series. I mean, people are rich there. Who wouldn't want to be rich? Even if it's for a day. So Billions is definitely it. Question 13. My favorite movie. I have a few, but uh, The Devil Wears Prada and Sex in the City, the first one. Obsessed. Love them. I don't know how many times I've seen them, but love them question 14 the best advice i've ever gotten no one owes you anything the world does not owe you anything your success your happiness is your own responsibility take charge of it and do things that resonate with you do things that inspire you basically do you you know and if you're going to wait for someone to give you an opportunity or for someone to give you motivation or drive then you will not get anywhere and i've managed to use that a lot in my career and i am doing pretty well and i'm doing that now with youtube like um if i don't get help from anyone with this journey uh I don't expect people to help me. I will ask for help and I hope that people will help. But I don't have the expectation and that is why I'm soldiering on. I taught myself how to edit. I researched lighting. I researched uh, cameras and we are here. What is my fave? Okay, so question 15. My favorite book or books. Uh, first book i'm literally obsessed with is lean in by cheryl sandberg the ceo of facebook because i'm a career woman in corporate that that spoke to me i mean and i think since reading it it has helped me be a better leader uh lead my team better even though there's room for me to grow i feel like it has really helped me so much in being a better leader 
and being someone that shows up at the table she says when you are like when you're invited to the table show up you know like so i show up at the table and uh, whatever challenge i'm given in my career i literally go over and beyond to ensure that you know what i represent myself and other women in a very good light so i i yeah that book has really spoken to me and one thing that has also taught me is not to be a bully i mean i shouldn't see other women as competition in, in at work and with that it has helped me also to do a lot of knowledge transfer without being scared that i'll become redundant or my work will be threatened so i'm not easily threatened by women and that book was a big part of it love it oh another one is educated i think it's by Tara uh, Westbrook, I think that's it. Yeah, it's a memoir about her life. Ooh, it gave me a lot of chills, but and it made me emotional. It made me happy. Oh, I loved it. It was such a beautiful book. Um, number sixteen, which is my last question. Where am I from? I am from. Let's drink to that. I'm from Pretoria. I'm from a place called Mabupani. So I was born and bred Mopitori. And the nickname for my hood is Lebobo. So people probably, like a lot of people that come from Pretoria know Lebobo ke eni. So yeah, that's where I'm from. I've been in Pretoria my whole life. I grew up there and I go to Mabupani. Quite, guys, my camera stopped recording. So. As I was saying, answering my last question, Kumanyana wa Mupitori, and I've been here my whole life. Absolutely love it. It is such an awesome place. We have our own language, which is fantastic. And yeah, I bet everyone has seen, not everyone, but most people have seen the memes about the kind of things we say in Pretoria. So yeah, absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite places, and I'm so glad I was born here. I think all my friends even come from here. <laughs> Which is bad, I need to venture out and make more friends, but it's so cool because when we're having conversations, we all just get it because we all speak Pretorian. So yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in um, and thank you for the support. We are now on our road to 500 melons. For those that don't know, because my name is mellow okay one of my nicknames is mellow i just like a friend of mine added ns uh <laughs> as like a nickname for my subscribers and i was just like oh my god i need to use this so that is how we ended up with melons so yeah i know it's cheesy but it's super cute so let's get to 500 melons and get to a thousand then conquer the world